Recently, I attempted to purchase the rarest Pokemon cards for the cheapest prices. And we had tons of insane cards, such as the Gold Star Mew, Secret Rare Blastoise, and even a base set Charizard. I also said I was going to grade every single one of those cards, and today they are finally back. Alright guys, I'm super excited to do a PSA cards returns again. We haven't done one in so long, but this one specifically is going to be really exciting because there's so many rare cards in here. We're going to check out this card a little bit later too. I really, I'm nervous to see what's in here and why. It says Quantity 1 on there. That's literally my face right there, just like realizing that this card wasn't great. I have no idea what the deal is with this, but we're going to check that out, though, in a little bit. All right, first card up. I haven't seen any of the grades on these. I have no idea how he did, but the back on this one's pretty beat up here. And it's going to be the Secret Rare Blastoise from Plasma Storm. This is one of the top pulls you can get from this set, either this or the Charizard. This is a huge card. Uh, we paid $65 on this. You guys are going to see how much we paid and the value of each one of these cards as we go through here. It's going to be pretty cool to see that uh, in real time. But here we go. The Secret Rare Blastoise is going to be... Can I even guess the grade on this thing? I'm going to guess like a... I want to guess like a three on this. Uh, that's being probably generous. Oh, it actually hit the four. Okay, so we got a very good to excellent PSA four on our blast loose that we purchased raw as the best price that we could find. And also, just so you guys know, I think it costs fifteen dollars to grade each one of these. So we got six hundred five seventy five eight. So we got like ten dollars in value on this blast loose here. Okay, we'll take it. I right, remember there's Gold Star Muse here. There's Charizard. There's Shining Gyarados. I mean, there's like a lot of crazy stuff in here. But next one up here. Okay, I'll try to guess the grades on these. It's gonna be tough though because of the conditions on these are like rough we got latios which honestly doesn't look too bad of a condition looking at it really quickly but i don't know i'm gonna guess this is like maybe a psa five i'm gonna say five it's hard to guess when you're in this like grade range but here we go uh this card we spent 12 dollars on and it is gonna be a psa five all right dude not too shabby of a guess there and um yeah that's a full art latios from also from plasma freeze 2013. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, if you want a chance to win a Temporal Forces booster box, all you gotta do is, number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Next card up here, the back on this one looks not too bad. Oh, yeah, it's bad. Actually, I actually really messed up on the sides there. And on the... Okay, yeah, it's pretty bad. Never mind, I take that back. It's, you have to really look closely at these. Oh, but it's the base set, Alakazam. Okay. Dude, it's so tough with these. I don't even know, man. But I know this card was scratched up like crazy. Um, I'm almost going to say he's like a like, like a four. I'm going to guess like a four on this one. This is base set, though. Alakazam, we paid $10 for this card. That was the cheapest that we could find here. Let's see. Is it going to be? Oh, it's a five. Okay, dude. I'm not too far off on these. PSA five on this one. Uh, so, yeah, I mean. All right, so we're looking at a $20 value on this one, but it was $15 to grade it, so that one was definitely not the best choice either. And this is just kind of like a fun little experiment. I'm just kind of doing it just for fun, honestly, to see what happens here and so you guys can see what happens if you buy the cheapest you could find um, and then grade them all. So let's go. This is terrible. This this one looks absolutely terrible. Uh, it's like bent. It's got so much stuff going on with it. Oh, my God, it's bad. It's even dirty. It's the Shining Gyarados. Oh, no. Okay, what's it going to be? Should I just check? Should I just check and go right through to it? Ah, no! That's crazy! That's crazy! Oh, my God. But I get it. Oh, my God. That is a... I've never even seen good. I've never seen that, like, written out on there. Good. PSA 2. That's a one-off from a PSA 1. That is, like, almost the worst condition cards you could ever grade with PSA. That is crazy. It's one of my favorite cards, though. And, yeah, we spent $140 on this card, and it is worth around $155. So, after grading, you're, like, pretty much right at the value on that thing. That's crazy, dude. And remember, we're going to check out what's inside of here soon. Uh, maybe we'll do a couple more, and then we'll see what's in there. I'm still nervous to see that. All right, let's continue. When are we going to get to, like, the Lugia or, like, the, um, sh the, the, the Shining Mew? Or, no, the Gold Star Mew? I don't know. Let's just keep going here. Uh, the back on this one is not as bad as some of the other ones, especially the last one. Uh, oh, it's the Erica's Dragon Air. Nice. Okay, I definitely didn't spend too much on this one, but it does have a bend. So you got to say it's at least a six or worse. I'm going to say this one with the scratches, the bend and everything. I'm going to go with like a... I want to say four or five. I'm going to say five. 
Oh, it's a four. VG to EX four on this one. And yeah, this one is uh, worth $18, which is more than what we paid, but we had to get it graded and everything like that, which costs at least $15 on this card so that one did not not do too good okay let's just keep going here this one in the back is just like oh it's bent dude the corner's bent no there it is okay this one's bent oh it's bent a couple places i think a little bit is it on that side too maybe i don't know it's uh it's bent though it's a little dirty it's the it's the prime the ride shoe from undaunted hardcore soul silver sick card i don't think we spent much on this at all i think it was really really cheap so let's see how we do i mean it's got to be a six or lower this one actually, this one might be a six, but I think it's, I'm going to go with a five. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a five, right? Shoe. Uh, PSA five. This is so funny. Dude. This is crazy. So yeah, it looks like it's worth around $15, which brings us, um, to a higher value, but not high enough to offset the cost of grading on this thing. So yeah, that one was definitely not a, not the best choice. I don't think well, I, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm curious if. I think that we might have some in here that actually end up being like decent like uh, purchases that end up grading them, but I, I don't know. I would say there's probably at least a couple that might have ended up doing better than what we paid for, but we're going to see. All right, let's keep going. Come on now. Oh, this one's so bad on the bottom. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, it's like bent and stuff and so dirty on the back. This is not going to grade good. This can't be. This can't be good. This can't be good. Oh, it's a Charizard. Okay. We didn't, uh, okay, I think we spent around $100 on this, I want to say. Oh, my God, it's messed up on the front there. It's scratched, but um, uh, it's Charizard. It could still be good. It still, it still could be okay. It's pretty bad on the back. Let's see what happens. I, I would say this is, oh, my God. I would say th uh, this is a, uh, like, I would say this is like a two or three. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with a, I'm going to go with a two. The, like, I'm going to go with a two. I thought it say PSA two. Oh, it's a four. That's actually probably pretty good. Oh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Did we do just? Did we just do really good on this one? We might have just did really good on that. Oh, hold on a second. We spent ninety six, and it's worth one hundred and seventy dollars in this crate, dude. That's crazy. That's a crazy come up on that. Oh my God. No way. That is probably the best one. That's the best come up so far on that. So uh, the difference there is seventy four dollars. Minus the $15 grade and stuff like that. So you're about like $60 better off on that one. That's pretty cool. I thought we were going to have some that do good here. Um, I think there might be some more that do good. Uh, let's do one more and then let's move into whatever's in here. I'm nervous to see what that is. I really don't know. Um, okay. But let's... Okay. Um, this one... Oh my god. This is the one that some kid actually put in their pocket and vented it four ways. Like just about. You can see it go like that. And then like that. And then I think like that a little bit. That's like a pocket card for sure. This is bad, dude. This could... Ugh. Let's see uh, Let's see the front of it. What is it? Oh, it's the Mewtwo EX. Man, I don't even know how this would... Like, how do you even grade this one? Uh, it's bad. It's bent so much. I think it's going to have to be like a two or three. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, hold up. That's actually kind of cool. Actually, if you guys don't know, getting a PSA 1, there's some people that actually collect these. And this is a PSA 1. That I think PSA 1s are actually tough to get. Don't quote me on that. But I think they're actually difficult to get. <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe this. So, Full Art Mewtwo EX, number 98 in, uh, is the one that we have here. Uh, PSA 1. There's only one, baby. We got the only one. We got the only one that exists in the world. There's there's literally grace for every single one of these. Except for a 1.5, which I didn't even know they... Did they, did they even do 1.5s? I didn't even... That's weird. Okay. I don't even know they did that if they even do that anymore. But um, that's literally, we got the only one. That's crazy, dude. I have no idea what the value would be on something like this. Um, it would be a particular type of collector, I would say. Uh, but either way, that is a PSA 1. That might be my first PSA 1 graded card ever, which is sick. But now the moment of truth for at least one of these other cards here is we're going to see what is inside of this. Like, which card did they not grade? Why did they not grade? It, because all the cards, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't think any of them had anything done to them. Like, ooh, okay, we can see the back of it. Oh, man, this card is messed up. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Is it because it was too messed up? Can that be a thing? Can the card be too messed up to not to, to get a grade? I don't know, but I think we're going to find out here. 
What is the card? What is the card? In three, two, one. No! What? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. There is just no way, bro. There is just no way that that was it. Why, why that one? Why that one of all the cards? Oh my god, they said it's altered. How is it altered? Is it because it was... Oh, <laughs> Maybe they're saying it's altered because the the this is literally like peeling off. The hollow is like peeling off. Wait, why do they say it's altered? Neo Genesis, Lugia Hollow, altered. Do not hold her. How is this altered? What the what is it? Cause it was like it's literally like peeling. It's probably cause it's like it must have been like water damaged or something or like left in the sun. No, it looks like it's like or like melted in heat or something. <laughs> I think this card just in really, really bad condition. Um, I don't think it's altered. I mean, like, I, I don't see how it could be have been altered unless they're saying it's altered because of that right there and, like, that bubbling, um, which I don't think it was, um, like, on purpose. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Man, that one just, that one, oh, my God. Because we spent $48 on this one trying to get the coolest cards, right? So we got the cheapest one. It was forty-eight dollars, but uh, the the PSA did not did not want to grade this one. Okay, all right. Well, there that that's for what it's worth. There you go. That's that's what it is. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. Next up, we have um, a card that looks not too too bad. All things considered, on the back, honestly. Ooh, we got the Tyranitar Reverse from Expedition. Very cool card. Um, okay, so twenty-three dollars spent on this card. How are we gonna do on this? Oh, a six. Yeah, see, this one was like honestly not too, too bad. And uh, I think it still had a bend or a crease in it. So I think it had to get a six. Yeah, right there. It had to get a six at best. So if that crease wasn't there, it might have been, even been like a seven or something. But anyway, we got a Tyranitar reverse. Uh, worth $35 after, fee after grading and stuff like that. Still. Not exactly worth it, but that's still kind of cool. Not too bad. And I definitely didn't buy these to try to, like, get better value out of them. I just think it's interesting to see what happens here. Um, this is just kind of just just to see what happens, honestly. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, this back doesn't look too bad, I guess, until you look at the edges a little bit, which are kind of rough. Yeah, they're kind of rough. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, it's the Chansey. I don't think we paid much on this one. Chansey was $4 spent. This was like the cheapest card that we that we paid. Um, honestly, it's just really scratched up and has edge wear. I would say this is maybe like a five, I'm gonna say. Oh, we got the five on. I'm actually not too bad at guessing grades on some of these lower end ones. I've never really tried to guess grades on lower end cards or like lower grade cards. Um, but yeah, I'm actually kind of guessing them somewhat accurately on some of them. But we got the Chansey. Um, value wise on this, it's worth $20, so $16. Um, come up on that, which is an extra dollar, baby. Let's go. Where is our gold star view and stuff? Okay. Oh my, this one does not look too good. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's pretty bad on the back. It's like peeling apart. Oh, it's the Dark Rai EX from Dark Explorers. Uh, released in 2012. It's a black and white era card. It's full art. It's a card. Uh, oh, it's got a bend there. So uh, this one's tougher. I would say this might be like a... This might be like a three. This one's pretty bad on the back. Let's go. Oh, it hit the four. It hit the four. Dark Rai EX. Uh, how are we looking? $50. Okay, so this it doesn't matter because we had to spend an extra 15 on grading. So, yeah, that one was definitely not worth it, but still pretty sick. We got a uh, we got a four. What's the highest grade? It's been a six, right? I think it was that Tyranitar Reverse that was the highest grade. All right, let's keep going. This one's dirty on the back. Pretty beat up. Not oh that's really oh yeah there's like some something going on in the back of this one this one's not looking too good oh it's the dark tyranitar from um, Neo Destiny I actually don't think this one was that expensive because it's like really really be like this is bad I think this oh, man, this is like a this could be like a two honestly um I'm gonna say this is a two this is pretty bad this is a sick card though. Oh it did hit the two dude let me in let me great cards I got this I got this I got this that's a two, dude. One off from the one, Dark Tyranitar. So this is one of the few that's uh, apparently actually worth less 
as this crate than what we purchased it for. So this is worth uh, $30 roughly, so 15 less than what we paid for it, plus the other 15 for the grading. Still a cool card. Uh, this is a fun experiment. Let me know if you guys like this and if you want to see something like this again. But it ain't over because there's still a bunch of really big cards left. Like, I'm still trying to think. I know there's still at least two or three really big cards in here. Most of them were big hitters. All right, so back on this one has like a bend thingy poking out of there. Dirt up there. We got some issues, but that's okay. Let's see how we do. Oh, it's the Dark Dragonite from Rocket. Off center, though. Scratches everywhere. Um, I would say this one maybe is like a... It's not the worst, actually. I would say this might hit a four. I'm going to go with a four. Oh, it did the three. The VG3 on the Dark Dragonite. Okay, okay. This was worth a little bit more. We paid 20... We only paid 23 for this. Worth around 30, I believe. So, still with the grading fee. You got to remember the extra $15 on top of what we paid. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, that's all right. There's got to be some decent come-ups here. Oh, my God. God, what happened to this card? <laughs> Somebody like chew it a little bit, <laughs> just like a little bite out of it. <laughs> um, Ben, bite something that that yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, it's the Call of Legend shiny Kyogre. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's so off center. Oh, that's what that thing is. It's like it looks like somebody pushed it with like a jammed it with something like a screwdriver. So I don't know. Something something really pushed up against this and the bend there. I don't even know how to grade this one. I mean, like, what is... I mean, it's definitely not going to be, like, a high grade. I think this might be a three or a four. I'm going to go with the four. Oh, it hit the four. Let's go. Okay. Wait, that's actually probably decent. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It is $75 in a PSA four. We spent 35 We got that $40 come up and then minus the fees and everything. So, like, the, I mean, the $15 grading. So, 25 worth about well it's worth forty dollars more we'll say than the raw price of what we paid on it we'll just we'll keep it at that very cool okay this one's definitely one that we did decent on and this is a total just experiment having no idea what to expect on anything uh we didn't even know what like the, the cards even looked like before we even bought them really okay um oh okay so yeah this one has like that ed that classic like played edgeware where it's like you just see it like peeling up and like just like you know it just has that edgeware of being played um Oh, Venusaur Hollow Fire Red Leaf Green, but the front looks not the worst. This might be like a four or five. I'm going to say this is a four. Oh, it did hit the five. That might be good. Oh, let's go. This one's um, worth around $80 in a PSA 5. That's uh, $41 more than what we paid on this thing raw. Another, another come up here. Okay, dude, we're, we're moving now. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I have no idea what the heck happens when that happens. That is bad, dude. That looks like like maybe like water damage because you can see it down there, too. It's like creased so weirdly where it looks like water. It might be water damaged. But then they graded this one, but that, uh, that Lugia, I don't know. Okay. Oh. Oh, you can see it going right through there. Look at that. I thought it was like on the case, but it's on the card. I forgot about that. Hollow? Dude, this is the best looking hollow out of any of the cards, though. There's like some little scratches. Maybe they're just harder to see, but it is the best looking hollow that we've seen here. Ah, oh, but dude, that just kills it. I don't even know. Uh, I'm going to say like, I'm going to say three. I'm going to say a three. Oh, we got the one, dude. That's the second time I think I've ever created a PSA 1. Dude, that just... If you want a PSA 1, just rip the back off, I guess. Oh, and then just push right through there. That hit the one. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is just like literally... Yeah, that's bad. That's crazy. Wait, I got to check to see how many of these exist in a one. But yeah, this is actually worth less um, than what we paid. Umbreon number 13 hollow. Oh, there's 31 of these in a PSA 1. There's so many great. This is a really popular card. 2,830 total. Only 92 tens. But only 31 ones. <laughs> and like a 1-5. Did this even exist? Like, did they even grade 1-5? It's so weird. All right, next card out of here. Um, ooh, okay. So the back on this has a crease. There's stuff there. There's stuff there. Let's see what the card is. Oh, I forgot about this one. I completely forgot about this one. We spent 150. This was actually one of the more expensive ones. 
One of the most expensive ones. Not the most expensive one, though. That's the Gold Star Mew. This was $150. And, dude, the front actually looks good. That's actually crazy. The front looks super good. Wow, I'm actually... Yeah, that's crazy. The front looks really good on this card. Um, the back, not so much. I don't know. I think this might be like a... Uh, I'm going to say four or five. I'm going to say five. The front's pretty good. Oh, it hit the five, dude. Let's go. That might not. That might be pretty good. Let me see. Let me see. 250. 250. 250. That might, is that the biggest come up that we've had today? 250. Yeah, more than the Charizard. 250 in a PSA 5. Spent 150. It's worth 250. $15 grading fees. That's $85 more than uh, the cost of this thing. That was a big one right there. Let's go. That's a cool card. Only two more cards remaining. This is a really fun one to do. I think we got to do this again. Oh, no. <laughs> that looks so crazy on the back. The back of this looks like a two or a three or something. That's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, it's the Mew EX. Oh, this card was cool. We spent, um, we spent $27 on this card. Oh, it's all bent and stuff. This is, oh, dude, this is like a... I want to say, I want to say two or three. I want to say, I want to say, I'm going to say two. Oh, three. It did hit the three. Dude, I'm actually not bad at the, at the lower grade stuff. I got to, I didn't know I could, I could guess that decently. All right. This is a three. This is a three. Um, the three is worth $40. This one didn't work out too well. It is worth more, but the $15 grading cost definitely ate into that. And, uh, okay. So I guess the last card is going to be. The Gold Star Mew, which is definitely the most expensive card, we spent two hundred and twenty-five dollars on it. So this is gonna be big. This could, this could, this is probably where everything is right now. All right. Oh no. Oh, okay. Is that on the case? That's on the case right there. Then that's definitely on the card. Obviously, whoo! This is a big card, and it is definitely wrecked. But it could still be worth a lot because it's definitely a super high rarity card. It's. Probably the highest rarity card. Well, the Crystal, Needle King, and stuff too. But this probably like the number one card here. The most expensive one. We'll put it that way. Or at least it was when I bought it. We'll see what happens now, though. Here goes nothing. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. We have some issues. We definitely have some issues here. But it's not terrible on the front. It's not... Uh, that's pretty bad. I mean... Uh, I Grade wise, oh, this one's tough. This one's tough. This one's tough. I would say this is gonna be a three. I don't know, but that's really bent. They might might be like a two. I'm gonna say a three. I'm gonna say a three. Let's see what it is. EX Dragon Frontiers, the Gold Star Mew, shiny Gold Star Mew, pulling the PSA three, making it a four hundred dollar card. <laughs> that was the biggest one. That's the biggest come up right there. That one. Uh, $175 more than what we paid for the card. So 160 after grading. That right there is a W. That's crazy. What the heck? Dude, that's crazy. That's so bad. Dude, this was a lot of fun, though. Let me know if you guys want to see something like this again. But all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.